I did a campaign uh, once on Facebook that attracted quite a bit of attention because I started off that campaign by saying stop exercising and everybody went what how can you tell people to stop exercising but the strap line to that campaign was start moving and the reason why I did that is because we often have an idea of what exercise is all about so exercise is something that we do separately to everyday life and when I'm walking to the shops I'm not necessarily exercising I'm moving and I really want to uh, dispel that myth if you like and really focus on movement as part of your everyday practice because movement is what creates energy creates the blood flow helps you to breathe with more ease um, and what often happens if we're doing a lot of work at a desk sitting at a desk a long time and then think oh I've got to tick that exercise box now we get out there we go and do our exercise so we go almost like from one extreme to the other so what is really key to how we have devised this course and what we said at the very beginning of this course is we wanted to keep it really simple to start with and that is really take your time to build the foundations of efficient movement and efficient breathing because unless you have those foundations there you're never going to reach your optimal ability so that's why we like the breath work we're talking the foundation is just easy soft nasal breathing come back to that notice that for the balance section bamboo in the wind is a really good start it, because you're just allowing your body to bring itself find its own natural balance and in the movement this is why I find the qigong movements so powerful because they're very easy to do and easy to learn you can do them standing you can do in sitting and the majority of people can do these movements but what I'm saying is do not neglect the power of the simplicity of the breath of those simple balance and our simple qigong movements and then build onto that I've worked with people clients of all different levels from people who are literally just starting out to Olympic athletes and everybody will say even the athletes even the elite athletes they like to come back to the foundations you cannot build on wobbly foundations you really need a structure to build that stable foundation then you can take the next step and the next step and the next step so whatever level you are remember to come back to the foundations and also when you think about these simple foundations quite often if someone is new to to movement new to exercise then they think they have to be doing all of this fantastic stuff um, which is great which we can progress to but then they can't get to that level straight off so they go I can't do it I've got I, I, I can't run fast I've got bad posture so actually people are put off exercising because they think they need to, to be at that level we, we can aim and achieve or challenge ourselves to get to a higher level but we want to get there safely and it's the way you will really build that strength and power in your movement so remember we have to build our stable foundations the endurance then you can build strength then you can build power bear that in mind as you work through this course and indeed when you work through any of your other exercise programs and in your training thanks for watching